你好，我系陈老师。Today we are going to continue with our Chinese typing lesson, and the method I'm teaching you is the Chong Kit 输入法 Chong Kit 输入法 So let's see how much you remember from last class. Well, I showed you this little keyboard, which are the different keys and what they represent. When we are learning about Chinese typing, the first thing we have to know is what each of the alphabet represents. As you can see right here, uh, well, we know that Chinese do not go with alphabets. So, and the Chinese method that we have right here, which is Chong Kit, they do not need, well, they do not use the method of this pronunciation. Like, nay, we are not going to do nay, like N and uh, A Y, N A Y, nay. Nope, we don't do it that way. We have to look at the Chinese character and we have to break it into different parts and know what to put it in to create the Chinese word. It's like a puzzle. So if you like puzzle, this is a really fun game for all of you. Last class, we went through the Chinese elf, uh, well, the Chong Kit Su Yap Fat typing with the alphabet, the A, B, C, D, E. Let's see if you still remember. So for A, it is the yat, which is the sun. Let me move myself to the outer side so you can see the others. For B, it is yut, the moon. C is gum. It means gold or metal. And then we have D, which is mo. So when we say mo, it means wood. All right, and number and E, we have the soi. Soi is water. So you may say, well, this is just the first five. And well, yeah, sometimes we just memorize by like just using our brain to memorize things. But are there any easier ways for us to remember these words? I am trying to use these image to help you. So let's see if they can help you understand or remember which alphabet represents e which part of the Chinese words. So A is a yat. When we think about yat, well, this is like the first sign of a light source for the world, right? So yat tai yang is the uh, brightest and shiniest. So I think that will help us th to know that, okay, that is the best, uh, well, the, the first one that we see. So let's put it at the very beginning. So to look at the A, well, let's think about the biggest light source yet. And then for B, well, after the biggest source, Let's look at the second big source. Well, after the sun, we have the moon. So yat and yut. That would be the second biggest light source. All right, and then for C, C is the gum. And when we talk about gum, it's not just gold. If you know gum means gold. And gum also means metal. Hmm, how do we relate C with the metal? So let's think about like a metal rod. And when you use a lot of force to bend it, we, I think we cannot bend it too much. The most we can do is to bend it into a C shape. So when we look at the C, let's think about how we can bend a metal piece or metal rod and make it into a C shape. C is for the gum or related parts. All right, and the next one is wood, which is mo. That would be a little easier. Think about how we spell the word wood. W-O-O-D. So, okay, so for wood, we remember it is using the alphabet D for the mo. And what about E? Hmm, E is for water, 水. How can E be 水? 
Mm, I was thinking about water. Well, when we have water in the ocean, it becomes like a wave. And look at this wave. Hmm, I think it looks a little like the alphabet E. So let's remember the letter E stands for 水 in Chinese or the related parts. Now let's take a look at the next five alphabets. The F, G, H, I, J. For F, it is the fire. For, for, anything that has the for or related or similar parts, we use the F alphabet. The next one is G. G is for to. So if you look and see things that look like this, we will have to type the G to type it out in Chinese. H is for zhu. Zhu is um, bamboo. Okay, so this is the one for it. I is for guo. Guo. It may not be a very well uh, commonly used part of a Chinese word, but we also look at the I as a dot. Okay, so anytime when we have to write a dot or represent a dot, we use the I. And the last one is a J. So J, what for today is the last one. J is the SA or anything that has this part in it that we have to type it. So how can we memorize them? For F, which is for, I guess it's a little easier because for fire, start with the F. So F will stand for any parts that looks like the for in Chinese. The next one is the G, which is to. Hmm. When I'm thinking about to, well, it's the ground. Right, and there is the uh, mud or the soil, and well, let's think about the toe, the ground, the G to represent it. The next one is the H. So H is for zhou, bamboo. When we look at the bamboos, well, just look very carefully at the little parts. I think I can see some hidden H's right here. The uh, a capital letter H. So let's use that as a little way to help us remember. So for the H, hmm, okay, it looks a little like the bamboo and let's use that as a, a way to help us remember. And for the I, remember I talk about the guo is also a little dot. So whenever we remember the I, the I also has a little dot as part of the English alphabet. Right? So just remember the little dot stands for I, which is the guo. And for J, it is the, uh, this is the part sub in Chinese word. So if you count the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, guess what? Well, J is the 10th English alphabet. So this will help us with and that will help us with the, the, the typing. Let's take a look at our keyboard again. Can you spot the A to J? A is for yet. B is for yet. C for gum. D for mo, E sui, F for G to, H zhu, I guo, and J for sa. Well, let's see if you can remember these and let's practice with the first few uh, characters, English characters for the Chongqit Chinese typing. So you know where to go. You can go to this changjieinput.com 
uh, and you can start by typing here or if your keyboard or your computer has this input method go ahead and use chong kit ma chong kit to type it you know some people may also use chok sing chok sing right here the word should look like this and the chong kit should look like this and chong kit is the more extended way like a more complete way of typing the chinese characters whereas for chok sing is an easier way uh, so after i teach you all these chong kit input alphabet i can show you how to use uh, chong kit and chok sing to type when we are seeing the chinese word okay one step at a time all right, so let's have a little reminder of all the A, B, C, D, E, which is yet, yut, gum, mo, so, fo, to, zu, guo, so. These are the first 10 alphabets when we are typing the Chinese chong kit input method. Okay, I'm not gonna ask you to do too much for now because i will have other exercise for you so you can work on them but let's practice typing with the f g h i j by showing you the chinese so the first one is the second one is for the third one is for the fourth one the fifth one, Guo The sixth, Fo If we have to type these two Chinese characters, what should we put in? Well, let's take a look. Zhou Guo would be H and I. Fo Su is the F and J. Guo for we have I and F. To zhou is the G and H. Guo to is I and G. And the last one is for zhou. It is F and H. Remember, these are uh, the Chinese characters when we are typing them individually, so one at a time. But I also want to show you this very exciting thing that we can do with these Chinese typing method. We can put the words together which means we can put the alphabets together to create a word in Chinese that has more than just one part. So I want to show you this. When we put two A together, that is we do not type the space after uh, typing one A. So this is what will come up. So when we type two A, A, A into the Chinese input uh, website that is going to show us this Chinese word two sun and it means it is Cheng well it means very brightly uh, good future if we put two B's together this is the word Pang as you can see we have the Yat uh, for A and A we have the Yat at the top Yat at the bottom and for the two B's we have the yu at the on the left, yu on the side. It always follow the Chinese rules top to bottom, left to right, but um, it's more complicated than that. We are only showing you some very simple two parts words combination. You will see them with the top and bottom, left and right today. If we put the A and B together, it is one yu and one yu. 將日同埋月擺埋一齊，呢個就係個名字啦。The next one, what if we put two D's together? So this time we have the 
D the mo on the left, mo on the right. This is the word lam. It means forest. It makes sense, right? Two woods together. Number five, we put we are putting e and d together. You may say, well, Chanlo see, it doesn't look so much like the sui on the left. What's happening right here? Well, the yi so it when it is used as a radical, we put three dots on the left, which look exactly like this. So when we see three dots, or when the word has this three dots in, and when we are typing it with the Chong Kit method, this is uh, another way to show that uh, we can type the e. And this is what is going to show. So we have the three dots as the so on the left, and then we have the mo on the right. So this is the word mo, mo yo, which means to take a bath. So here we go. I'm just showing you some very very simple Chinese word that you can create with just two of the Chinese alphabet. We're gonna teach you more next time. So let's stay, uh, stay tuned, keep learning, keep practicing, and you're going to do much better every single time.